Hey everyone, I'm Dave Dudley here with The Coach's Corner, where you can always find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and on my website at daviddudley.com. Today we're going to be discussing a 60 degree bend hook on a shaky head versus a 90 degree uh, hook on a shaky head. When it comes to selection of that, you're probably going to want to argue with me. You're probably going to want to sit there and say, David, we've been thrown, I've been throwing a 60 degree bend hook and I catch them everywhere I go. And then you're going to have somebody else say, you know what, I throw a 90 degree and I catch them, you know, everywhere I go. Well, I want you to think about this. The, just the technique of shaky head fishing you can have a 60, a 90, a 58, a 47 degree hook. It doesn't matter what you have. Just the technique al alone is going to catch them. It doesn't matter really what degree hook you have. That technique is going to catch them. But what does matter is taking your bite ratio from going to 10 bites a trip to, let's say, 15 bites a trip. Just by the simple degree change and I'm gonna explain it to you here I am a 90 degree fanatic if you're a 60 degree fanatic you're probably gonna sit there and say I don't break off as much I fish it all the time it comes through brush good it's you know it's just the best one made with a 60 degree bend in it well I will agree with you you're right it does come through brush pretty well it does come through stuff and doesn't get hung up well. I will not argue that with you. You win that argument. But an argument you won't win is saying that a 60 will catch more than a 90 because of this simple rule of thumb. I know that a 90 degree bend shaky head with a football head, and by the way, when it comes to round versus football, I am a football head fanatic. A football head fanatic, it, a football design keeps it from rolling over on its side and it rides at a true position at all times. So here we go. 90 degree, 60 degree. A 60 degree only has a certain amount of, of degree that it can lift its worm or make it dance on the floor. What I mean by this, if I got a 60 degree, if I got a 60 degree bend and I hit a rock and I'm dragging, dragging, and it hits a rock, it can only come to about this height before the lure is going to pull over that object. A 90 degree has way more lift power, lift power to lift the lure that you're working across the bottom greater. Now, if you refer back to my previous video of how to work a shaky head, I explained in full detail the importance of leaving it on the bottom. You cannot dance it better than the bottom can dance your lure. Refer back to that video. But at this point, a 60, a 90 versus 60, a 90 is going to give your bait 10 times the amount of action on the bottom than a 60 degree. And I know at the end of the day, I'm going to have 15 bites versus your 10 bites. Thank you for joining me this week on Dudley's Coaching Corner.